Hey guys, Darren here. Welcome to Mayhem Country Living. Show you what we've been doing. I did this all day yesterday. My neighbor came over with two big Walmart sacks. One full of snap beans and the other full of squash. And so I in turn swapped him a dozen of my eggs for these things. I snapped these things all day yesterday and we got them cleaned up. We parboiled them. Uh, you know how you do beans. I don't really have to tell most of y'all. But uh, there's an enzyme in the bean that unless you parboil them before you really cook them, before you store them, <laughs> they will taste like shoelaces. Uh, and they will have the consistency and chew of shoelaces. So, you parboil them just for a minute or two, uh, and they still have the nice pretty green, and then you freeze them. Uh, if you have enough room, you can put them on like a cookie sheet, freeze them individually where they don't touch, and then pour them in, or you can do them this way, or pour them into the, uh, the small freezer stackable um, uh, quart, half quart, um, cubes that you can get, uh, storage containers. Um, I just did them this way because what we will probably end up doing is this will be two big meals for uh, uh, quite a few of us, two big meals for quite a few of us. This will go into casseroles. Um, probably each one of these would make a small casserole. Now, I know a lot of people don't like using the freezer bags. Uh, that's what these are. These are the uh, freezer bags. I doesn't really bother me about freezer burn. I don't really care. Don't I don't care about it on my meat. It does not bother me at all because it is still getting eaten. And I know some people are also going to ask why didn't you pressure can these? You could have. I absolutely could have. And I have all of the stuff to pressure can. But this way's faster when you have a lot of stuff going on. You take the stuff, parboil them, throw them in a Ziploc, let them cool off, freeze them, date them. At the end of the summer, you will have more beans or vegetables, zucchini, squash, whatnot then you will know what to do with. And I know some people are saying, well, but if you don't do it, pressure canning, uh, you'll have to rely on your freezer. Absolutely. I, I, I plan on it, and I do plan on it. We have redundancy set in place with uh, freezers, generators, and fuel. So uh, we have, I've told you before, we have close to 100 gallons of gasoline, as well as tanks and tanks and tanks of propane. And... Uh, BC truck, uh, Brad is the one that got me uh, doing those and storing them uh, just uh, because I saw the way he did it and uh, he said, well, what are you going to do? You got generators, but you only have 15 gallons of gas. That's terrible. If that's all you got, I understand. But you can build up to it uh, and have a little bit more independence. Um, again, this is not for when the zombies come. These are for hard times. Hard times are here. All right, guys, I'm going to just uh, wrap it up. It was going to be kind of a quick video. Uh, two things. Uh, hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, I would appreciate it. It'll go a long way in helping us in the ratings with YouTube. And who knows, maybe YouTube will start to love me again one day. Not like. How about that here? And uh, also, if you would uh, consider joining us on Patreon for other stuff and shenanigans. I will show you. I have been buying these. I probably have about a dozen boxes of uh, wide mouth and about seven or eight of uh, standard size charging rings. Finally. I was getting kind of low and that makes me nervous. Take care of you people guys.